Hello everyone, Inventor719 here. Uh, sorry for the delay in videos recently. I've been quite busy with work and my car hobbies. Anyway, uh, today's video we are going to be using this old turbocharger I had laying around. This is just the front half, the compressor housing. It is made of a nice cast aluminum, I believe, which is why it is a good subject for today's video, because we are going to be trying to melt it or do some damage with this roll of magnesium. I believe it's around 100 feet long. It is very thin, but if you've never seen magnesium burn in grade 10 chemistry class or whatever, it burns very bright and very hot. And to help the combustion process, I have some matches and some sparklers as well. So we're gonna go ahead and load up the turbo, then use my torch right here, cause it's a nice hot source, and we're gonna light it all on fire. All right, so here we go. Let's make up the, this little concoction. So maybe I might start with a couple matches in the bottom just to help out. I don't know. And then in this box of sparklers, as some of you obviously know, sparklers burn very hot and bright. So I'm going to take maybe three of them and then crumple them up just like this on top. of the turbocharger. We're going to be doing this right inside where the uh, housing is, just like that. So, so far, sorry about the shadow, really bright outside today. So far we got something that looks like that, and then let's go ahead and take the magnesium strip. I, I'm, I'm opening it up a little bit so that air can get in between the ribbons to cause hopefully a faster combustion. We're going to put it on there like that, and I'm going to top it off with a bit more sparklers, then let's light it on fire with my torch. So here we are, I relocated to the shade as well, just so that you could see it better because less shadows. So as you can see, I filled it up with my 100 foot magnesium ribbon, lots of matches and ground up sparklers. So I'm gonna go ahead and back up the camera just a little bit, just to make sure you guys can see the full explosion. And I'm gonna go ahead and light it with my torch and let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Got my torch out and let's light the fire. So hopefully the magnesium stays on fire. It might not. So I might keep my torch on it for a little bit longer. I wonder what will happen if I put my torch in the inlet. Oh, it put itself out. Maybe, maybe let's try and get a bit of a furnace going here. Once that magnesium stays on fire, it should get real hot in there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that for you guys. There it is. That's the magnesium on fire. It is staying on fire. It is very bright to look at. It's hard to see through the camera. So here I have a little stick. I'm going to try and aerate it. The magnesium has turned into one solid piece. Oh, that's exciting. So it seems like when I poke the magnesium, it'll make a little reaction definitely some molten metal in there that I'm finding. This is much cooler than I thought it would be. As you can see as I break stuff off the fire gets a lot brighter. This is like this is the roll that has now become one solid piece of metal. Alright, so now we got like these magnesium coals. It's been a few minutes, so it's kind of just settling. I have a match, so let's go ahead and see how hot it is. Oh, yep, so the match is light pretty much right away. 
So why don't we try and put some matches on and see if we can get a bit of a flame going again. Looks like the magnesium is pretty much finished though. Now that's just a wood fire in there. So I might crumble up the rest of the magnesium to make sure it's all gone. Oh, we got a bit of sparking action. Probably off my sparkler there. And then I'll show you the damage to the turbocharger. So it looks like the fire has finally calmed down and the turbo is quite a bit stronger than I thought it was. Um, I got myself a stick and I'm, I was prodding around in the ashes and even the compressor blades look like they are still in okay condition even though the turbocharger housing is too hot to even touch. Obviously there's a bit of shaft play in this turbocharger now, but the walls of the cast Luna are still in good condition. But during my testing of this experiment, which I hope you guys still found cool, when I was heating up in the inside of the uh, outlet port here on the compressor housing, it was backfiring and shooting some really cool flames out here. I won't include those clips in this video and I might make a video on it in itself, some sort of turbocharged flamethrower, so please stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys did still enjoy this magnesium experiment and I made it a little more exciting by putting it in my old turbo compressor housing. So if you enjoyed this video, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. So if you stick around this long, I thought I would tell you guys about my other channel. If you couldn't tell, I'm into cars due to that old turbocharger I just had laying around. So anyway, here's a few of the cars that you can see by going to my girlfriend and I's other channel, JD Mods. Um, Instagram JD Mods Garage. It's just J D M O D S. As you can see, we're mostly into JDM cars. Real quick now, there's my uh, 1993 Lexus GS300 2JZ, around 500 horsepower. The new addition is this K24A2 Honda Civic SIR EP3. My girlfriend's uh, turbocharged Acura RSX with a K20. This is my Corolla that I'm actually selling. This is a 2005 Toyota Corolla XRS edition, the six-speed manual with a Lotus engine. And then in the garage is the project car, the 1992 Lexus LS400. As you can see, we just got some rims for it. And this, as well as the GS300 over here, are both rear-wheel drive. So lots of fun things coming up for those. So please subscribe to my secondary channel if you'd like to see more car stuff. Thanks for watching everyone.